Here at the Met Office, we have issued a rare red weather warning. We don't issue these lightly and they're pretty infrequent. So when we have a red one in force, you know that the weather's going to be be extreme. All, of course, thanks to Storm Arwen, the storm we named yesterday. Now, the areas affected by the red warning, parts of the eastern side of Scotland, particularly close to the coast, and parts of the far northeast of England as well. I'll go into the details of the weather warning in just a moment. Good morning. Mark and I are off to Northumberland today. It's the last weekend of November 21, where uh, Storm Arwen has hit the UK so I'm sure that in some way all of us have felt it because we certainly have just been in Derbyshire um, so we've had snow, high winds, now ice um, and unfortunately uh, a few planes have been damaged that we've had phone calls about and in particular uh, Adis Moor airfield up at Northumberland their hangar has completely disappeared um, there's been incredible amounts of damage to the planes that were in this hangar, maybe five or six planes, um, flex wings, fixed wing CTs. Um, we've had a video sent to us by our friend that's up that direction, um, just showing us all the damage of the aircraft. Absolutely devastating for the owners up there. And of course they've not, not got a hangar to put the planes in and um, luckily the winds have died down here but I'm not sure what it's like up there still. So we're on our way up, we're picking up two flex wings um, that have been severely damaged and we're going to bring them back um, and try and get them assessed to see if the insurance company is going to let us rebuild them really. Um, we've got an idea of what to expect when we get there, but obviously it's still going to be quite upsetting. Um, we'll meet the owners and get the, the planes on the back and take it from there. So we shall let you know of our journey. is on one. One of them has had a, uh, something's hit the back of the engine so I think the gearbox has had a whack. Uh, there's definitely a chunk missing out of the prop shaft. 
but we'll get them off. We'll print out the, uh, not the build manuals, the parts catalogue and just use them and do a visual inspection. Well, yeah, let's get them off first, and then um, and then we'll set about. I think we'll do one trike at a time, you know. But we'll work together um, on stripping them. Um, okay. We, we could do it getting a load of pictures of it first. So before, you know, let's get them open up. Let's have a look at them. I don't. I'm not in the mood for rigging them, as in putting them under load, but. We could certainly do with getting yeah. in. So we'll drop on some trestles. Like I say, lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Yeah. Lots of pictures. <coughs> Have you the, created uh, a log for each plane already? So that because obviously shells, shells. Um, you've been got on some it work. Since you've got the phone, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So shells got some worksheets. I'm, I'm aware of most of the damage, but I think there's going to be a fair bit about of internal that right, it's just not going to see. Right. One of them spent the night on its leading edge, and it's just sat there sanding the leading edge down, so it's possibly a new skin, um, which is easy enough, it's on and off for us, but I'm more concerned what damage he's done to the leading edge, because yeah. if, if the tips haven't been damaged then, I'd be very surprised. But. So, good morning, it's a very cold December, we're on the crash repairs of the quicks so we're slowly working through Brendan has been awesome and sorted on the wings I'll come on to those in a minute but Shelley's been clearing off the engines we've done one and we're now looking at the other one uh, this is the Explorer one the one with the wider wheels what's your thought? It's been stacked back up and heavy I was just doing the um I just blocked the crankshaft and just checking the um, friction torque just looking at the end of the hole and um, but, uh, the propeller has been grazed it's not taken chunks out of it but that's been hit that's been hit and the gearbox has been hit so the propeller's got to come off for um, a check and that's the definition of a prop strike. If the propeller has to come off because of damage sustained, then that's prop strike check. So good fun on that one. <coughs> Lots going on. She cleared, Smithy cleared the standard quick uh, yesterday. So Brendan and myself, we're just working through yeah, frame on this one. What's your thoughts on this one so far, Brendan? Because I think this is the one that um, rolled over. This is the one that blew over. The other one stood still. So this one's where we're looking at, uh, at most of the airframe uh, damage. What's your thoughts so far? Any findings? It's poorly. It's poorly. It's poorly, poorly played. Um, yeah, one of the one or two bits and bobs around. Uh, there's obviously some surface, surface stuff. Uh, but I need the detail of how to uh, look at crack. So that's me and Brendan today. We're going to be trying our hardest to go through this one and get this one um, together. The wings have been fully stripped down. So here are the two wings. So there is the quick that blew over and there is the explorer we've all had varying bits of damage in different ways as i'm sure you may have seen but yeah they're uh, we're slowly stripping them back we're slowly getting there so i don't think it's as bad as uh, as the initial look i very much think that they are going to be repairable um so this is where we're going to now start working with the other companies uh, get gs aviation involved, P&M uh, <coughs> involved, we're going to get the sales down to top flight sales <coughs> and look at getting these guys back in the air as quickly as possible. As I'm sure most of you are aware when it comes to these machines, parts is going to be the biggest issue. Uh, more on delivery time, so I'm going to put a phone call in with Javid and see if we can try and pull something out the bag for these guys. Both trikes are now fully inspected and we are putting a detailed report together for the owners and for the insurance companies to show them what items, what parts have been damaged 
and what parts need to be replaced. We're going to work with GS Aviation and P&M, hopefully to get this, these aircraft back into the air in the quickest possible time. It's going to be a journey and we hope you can join us on this journey as we get these machines back into the air as quickly as possible. On a side note here at Micro Maintenance, we want to just say a huge thank you and a round of applause to everybody up at Othersmore Airfield. It was so overwhelming to see you guys just jump in there and help each other out. It really was a true testament to our sport and we applaud you for everything that you guys have done and we hope that we can support you in the future as you get that airfield back into the air. I also want to say a thank you to our team and the volunteers that we have here who really did help out to get these trikes turned around in the quickest possible time to get these guys back in the air. It's amazing what a uh, community we have in the microlite world. So thank you ever so much for watching this episode. If you do want to click subscribe, please do so uh, and you'll receive notifications by clicking the notifications button. But until next week, guys, and certainly until we get more footage for the trikes, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See you soon.